Hey friends, it's Andrew from Refilling to Freedom. Welcome back to the warehouse. So yesterday we had technically two deliveries combined into one, so we will get a credit for combined shipping because they both come kind of indie. I'm going to open the one behind me. I have not looked in it. I have not peeked in it. I looked at everything else just to see what kind of stuff we have. I have my table already. I have my drink already and I have my cheat sheet real quick. So two deliveries. The first one was 13 pallets of lighting, electrical, and more, a total of 651 units. Estimated retail value, $44,103. And we paid $3,942.66. So this one behind me, it's going to be one of the lighting ones, which is completely full to the top. The other three pallets, which are at the end of the hallway down there, three pallets of Tool, storage, and mobility aid. Eight units, estimated retail value of $3,260, and we paid $1,550. So about 50%. The only thing I saw from those back there was only eight units. There were, I believe, like a wheelchair ramp for a front door, and toolboxes. I saw one blue husky, one red husky. They're both on their side. One of the casters has to be replaced. It came apart in two pieces, which is why every time we get a box of casters, I keep some. And... The red one was on its side. It looks like there were some scratches on it, but I was trying to clear everything out just to make everything fit. I didn't even touch them. So let me show you the hallway first and then we'll start opening up this one. Okay, so my goal is always to have this hallway empty or empty enough to get a full delivery because down the road, I want everything to be back there and have nothing in the hallway. That way I can list bigger items more often and not have to worry about as soon as they sell, is that person gonna wanna pick it up? And how do I get a toolbox? down that hallway. So there is a plan. Currently I have two pallets of tile on the auction that started yesterday, but I have them by the door. There's not that many, it's about a half a pallet so I can carry them. But this is 16 pallets of lighting here. Everything else is way down at the end, but these were actually wrapped up amazingly. And if I do say so myself, they are parked pretty darn nice. Except for that one, don't look there. But a lot of these name, the style names of the ceiling fans, I recognize. It'll be easy. We'll just have to tweak the pictures and put them back in our inventory app and then move on. So I've already had a few people come and check out some ceiling fans, but this guy, this is one we're gonna open. So let's get my good scissors and cut it down. Okay, oh, here we go. Now, is this one just gonna be big boxes? No idea, haven't checked it at all. All right, wall lights, wall lights. What am I say? This is a fantastic way to open this box. Why have I never done this? This is one of the things that a customer will order from Home Depot. It has their name, their address, and they never even opened it. Still factory sealed, changed their mind, ordered too many. That's okay. I like seeing this brand. It's usually super, super modern. And I have the Bat phone, so I can scan it right with the Home Depot app. My phone has too much stuff on it, and there's no room for more apps. So we're gonna scan this one and see what it goes for. This bad boy, not too bad. 178.83. Well, let's see, I actually have, whenever we get these, people ask me if we have more of this brand because apparently it's really popular. People like it. I'm gonna try to divide these into sections, not knocking over my coffee, between vanity lights, ceiling fans, outdoor lights, kitchen lights, outdoor wall scones. This guy, we don't even know what he is. This is, oh, okay. Oh man, we could totally use this. Plug this in to my outlet over there and plug in two cell phones, four extension cords, and charge everything. I'm not gonna keep it, I have enough extension cords. That's kind of cool. Uh, we'll put it over there. Ceiling fan. See, I already have to redo my text. All right, we got two of these. Very, very similar. Put this guy here. And then we'll put this guy over there. I'm pretty sure we've had these before. I think this is only our third lighting delivery. I feel like we've had way more than that for some reason, but they're still my favorite. Another extension cord. Ooh, fancy. She fell out of the package. So we're just gonna add this. Probably. This should be... Oh, dome light. Extension cord section. We'll do bathroom light. This one's bent open. I'll check them out later. Vanity light. Outdoor light. I am determined to sell this. These only sell for a buck or two. I'm trying to think if I need any at home. What else are all in? I have lots and lots of can lights. Ooh. Most of the stuff that we get from the lighting is not typically broken. This guy doesn't sound good. A lot of times though when it rattles, it's just the hardware, which is the case here. They didn't rewrap it, so it just kind of clanks together. But you are a super modern light. So we are going to put you recessed light. Got another one of these. Whoop, you're sideways. That's right. Recess light. Also sounds a little clanky. Just hardware. Light looks good. All right, gotta move this front. Cool. Sometimes the boxes are deceiving. It looks really fancy. It's just a light strip. I thought it was some sort of like smart phone house gadget. 
Just a big outdoor light. Oh, shit. So we got another can light. You light bulbs. <laughs> I've learned a lot about lighting and electrical, but there's certain things I open. I'm like, I feel like I should know what's what this is. I don't. I feel like it goes around my electric over there, but just for fun, we're gonna look it up. One inch EMT screw set coupling. <sighs> Totally knew that. We haven't used a doorbell in years, which is how I broke my finger, because we had one. We get a lot of doorbells. It sounds pretty. Here's more. One doorbell, $29. I totally thought it was hard hand at first. It's not. Another cord organizer, which we have a bunch of those, just different. Another one returned from the buyer, completely sealed. We're having a end of summer bad mama jamma auction where I'm gonna save a bunch of really awesome stuff. This might go into it. Plug and mount floodlight cam wired pro plus black. And it's a ring. People love rings. Put that one here, but probably put it to the side. Very nice battery light, outdoor light. Retrofit alarm kit for a ring. Let's see how much this is. 150 bucks. This one looks like it's been opened and then re just resealed, so we'll have to check that one. It's heavy. Oh, he's really pretty and heavy. Sometimes you can have expensive taste, but not have things be super expensive. 80 bucks, not bad. Got a bunch of those. Ceiling light dome. I feel like I have these before too. I'm already blocking my space. We've had a bunch of these, so I know them and we already have them in. It's a Tallulah light. And I want to say they're only 50 bucks. The Home Depot app really is nice. $44.97. Is that bad that I know the name, the style, and how much it costs? Another dome light. The can light. We've had these before too. This box is busted. What are you? Matte black. Oh. I'm gonna have to take that back up. I'm actually about to keep these. They're matte black outlet covers. What a sad box. <laughs> this is also the reason why I have baggies here and I put some stuff in them. I just mess up the whole table. Five more boxes of those. All matte black. This one is all contained. We've had this one before. String lights, I think we think of when I was a kid going to like a campground with my grandparents and having them hung up. I have some over there just sitting in a box. An empty box, not one it came with. And someone told me I should hang them from my wall. Like that is a fantastic idea. I might have to do that if I could find an outlet back there and make it look festive. Came in beaded, semi-fluorescent lights. Check him out. Every day it's a battle. Lose my phone. $80, one night. In my GFCI three wire grounding. Let me deal with that. I feel like it goes with that guy. This is not going as I had planned. Another outdoor wall light. We have two of those. This we have one of already. Can light. What are you? A ground bar. Solar 100 micro fairy LED warm white string lights. Honeycomb, what a cool name. Let's check it out. Ah, uh, it's just string lights, no detail. These are the ones I like to open. The Home Depot box, there's no label on the inside. And even the description on like their internal sticker means nothing to me. It just says Hartford Lack. Maybe something good. An outdoor light, or it could be this way. I suppose you do either. Not something super cool, but still pretty. Ceiling light that I know we currently have. Now sometimes, we've tried it a few times listing two things as a pair, which I haven't found the price jump a whole bunch. So in some cases we've sold one for $2. And I know in the last auction we sold a pair for two dollars because this is the same as this one. I have to look this one up. There's no box for it. <laughs> and I feel like it's missing something. Oh, it's not because we had some before. You plug this into your light fixture and these are just attached mini blades. Somebody got it from us on the last one and told me how great it is. I think the total diameter is like 15 inches on the one we have. Socket fan, that's what it's called. Everything else down there, I can see what it is on the side of the box, so no cool surprises. This one's kind of funny. I think it's an extension to a ceiling fan. This is our last potential surprise. Is it something good? Every day it's a battle. I lose my phone, I lose knives. Every day. I This is a Clarissa wall sconce. All right, so that's everything. The few things on the bottom of the box I can see. So I'm going to rearrange, stack everything up in groups, and then uh, I'll be right back. <laughs>
this is everything. Palette back there is empty, stacked together. I don't think there's any of those, holy crap, this is amazing one lonely item in this palette, nor was there anything a complete bust. I didn't see anything broken at a first glance. We have multiples. I tried to lump them because as soon as I'm done with you guys, I'm going to see how fast I can process everything. We added more shelves. I've got more room. We pulled everything over. It is currently three o'clock. So let's see how much I can get done in an hour and put everything back. So I think we got some good stuff. Outdoor lighting, vanity lighting, sconces, electrical outlets, can lights, LED lights, outdoor lights. Let's see how fast I can move some of these through and let's see how many I have total from this one palette. And I'm gonna say it was really, really tall and full, but a lot of the stuff were bigger boxes, which makes it easier. Okay, a quick count. There's about 80 items behind me total. Some are doubles, some have mates, some are solo, some are definitely repeats. Let's see how fast I can move this. Because we had an amazing walkway till I got here today. <laughs> day two. I was here for about an hour and a half the other day going through everything, but then I quickly had to leave and I had dinner plans to go to I didn't know about. So hour and a half, I probably went through about a third of everything, which I don't think is too bad. And a lot of the stuff you have to check because it's all glass. And so far, everything that I've pulled out has been totally fine. I didn't see anything missing. I haven't seen things swapped, broken, chipped, used, damaged, returned, but the whole hallway's still full, so you never know what I'm gonna find. But that's not too bad. I did pull over one thing to the side for us to keep for future houses down the road. They're just uh, light switch covers, but they're really pretty. But this is what's left. I think we did pretty good on the first palette. Here's hoping the rest of those back there will be just as good as this one. Nothing broken, nothing damaged, no swapperoos. So far, so good. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you next time.